What's up guys, this is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD and today is all about deploying Windows 10 1803 with MDT 8450. Now, uh, I think I've released a video to you guys a while back uh, dealing with ADK. You gotta make sure you upgrade your MDT server with the latest ADK. So that basically means you have to uninstall it manually, then install the, the new version which is 1803, ADK 1803 then you're able to do the following steps. So the first thing that you need to do is get a ISO file of 1803. Uh, from here I double click on it and it automatically is going to mount it on the server. Okay, uh, I went to start, clicked on deployment workbench, that loads up, awesome. And from here I'm going to expand my deployment share, going to expand my operating system node and going to expand Windows 10. Now these particular folders you're not going to see. This is my way of doing things within the MDT uh, environment. So, so it's going to be different for you guys. So I expand the Windows 10 folder and uh, within here I'm going to create an additional new folder. Uh, right click on it, new folder, give it a name and I'm going to call it V1803. Click next, next again, finish and we're done. Now I'm going to right click on a new folder and I'm going to import an operating system. I'm going to leave it as the default, which is full set of source files. Click next. We're going to browse and we're going to locate that uh, location of where that ISO mounted. So I'm going to click on this PC and locate the E drive. Press OK. Click next. Give the destination directory a name. I provided Windows 10 V1803. Click next. Next. It's going to do its thing. It's going to import everything within your MDT server and click finish. And within that new folder, you're going to see all these beautiful WIM files, right? Now, the next thing that you need to do is get into your task sequence node. So click on it. I have a bunch of task sequence and we need to create a new one. So right click on the task sequence node and do new task sequence. Uh, fill out the information, give it a task sequence ID as well as a task sequence name. I provided the following. It really depends on you. You don't need to follow my way. You could do it your way. Click next. It's going to be a standard client task sequence, so I'm not really going to go over this. Leave it as the default. Click next. Now we need to pick our operating system. So click on the folder, or it really depends on you. For me, I had a folder, so I expanded my folder. I expanded my V1803, which we created together, and I located my Windows 10 version. Now the one that I'm using is Windows 10 Enterprise, so I highlighted that, and I click next. And I'm not going to specify a product key because this is just testing. Click next. Provide the following information, full name, organization, and a Internet Explorer homepage. Once you fill all that stuff out, click next. Provide an admin password. Confirm it and click next again. Get a nice little summary. Next. And done. Finish. Awesome. There goes our beautiful Windows 10 version 1803 task sequence. Uh, next thing that we need to do is on your main root of your deployment share, you're going to right click on it and we need to update our deployment share. So you're going to get the nice little wizard, click next, next again, and it's going to do its thing. Now this process takes a while, but eventually once everything is done, you're going to get this. This is always a good thing. Click finish and done, right? Now, uh, because I'm doing everything within a virtual environment, I'm using a VMware Workstation 14 Pro. I went inside my host machine and I went inside my F drive and I created a new folder and I called it BJ-V1803. I double clicked on it just to show you guys there is nothing inside the folder and I wanted to copy the path because I'm going to be creating a new virtual machine and I need to tell it where to drop those files. So I copy that path. Uh, within my VMware workstation I clicked on file, new virtual machine and just follow the wizard. Next, next. It's definitely going to be a Windows operating system, and this is the version. Click next again. Uh, change this information. So I gave it my virtual machine name, and I'm going to drop it in that path where I created that folder. Click next. I'm going to leave it as the default. 60 gigs is not that bad. Next, finish, and done. Now, within my MDT server, I have WDS services running. So what I like to do is go inside my MDT server and make sure my WDS, my Windows deployment services, is up and running. As you can see, it was not running, it stopped. So just right click on the primary node, all tasks, start it up, make sure it says successfully started. That's always a great thing. Click OK, green, perfect. Now, 
boot that virtual machine and if everything works well you're gonna see the WDS boot manager hit enter to start the process it's gonna start loading the files and you got that now uh, my environment with my MDT this is my 8450 testing machine I really didn't customize the custom settings .ini file so this is the reason why I have the welcome and I'm gonna have uh, the portion to enter the username and password and all that good stuff so I'm gonna show you so if you click run the deployment wizard you're gonna get this you are able to customize this within your custom settings .ini file I don't recommend doing this because uh, the custom settings .ini file doesn't encrypt this it's plain text that's a huge security flaw I'm hoping Microsoft fixes that so this is a good thing to have enter the username and password information click OK if everything works well you should see the task sequence for us we're picking the task sequence that we created that's going to deploy version 1803 so select it click next give it a computer name this is the following computer name that I gave it click next and I'm gonna go through this real fast because I didn't really, I'm not going to move data or settings I'm not going to restore any settings uh, make sure you have the correct time zone even though you are able to customize this within the custom settings .ini file but for me I didn't really do that click next I'm not going to capture it click next and begin to start the process of deploying 1803 now you're gonna start seeing this and once it starts installing the operating system that's a good to go you're gonna see this this is another good sign and done now I did get the deployment summary yellow which is warning one warning no errors errors is always a good thing but the one warning kinda confuses me a little bit I do have to do a little bit more research of why I got cannot mount offline registry so I definitely need to check that out to see what's going on it did successfully deploy with no problem I'm wondering if you guys have seen this problem or did you get a clean installation in your environment I would like to know leave your comments right below uh, click finish uh, I went inside start and ran a WinVER just to let you know this is 1803 and it does have the username and the organization and if now if I go inside settings systems and about you're gonna see the device name the name that we provided during the deployment and that's it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of how to deploy Windows 10 1803 with MDT 8450 if you have any comments or concerns leave them at the bottom don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one peace out